Hey, Pierre Luc, I think the whole hockey world saw your interaction with John Tortorella on the bench in game two. With that and the way that the series was going for you, what was your motivation like tonight heading into game three? Um, I mean, nothing different, really. Um, stuff like that happens. And I mean, we played a good, good first game. Um, then last game, obviously, you want to forget about that one, push that under the rug. And coming into today, I mean, if, you, if you're lacking motivation, um, I mean, I don't think you're in the right spot or playing the right sport. So, uh, I mean, everybody was motivated tonight. Um, we went down 3 nothing, kept believing in it. Uh, big saves by Elvis, big plays by, by everybody. And, you know, we win, and tomorrow's a, another big game. Next question from the Media Center. Hey, this question's for Pierre-Luc. This is Lindsay from City News. I don't speak French, so I have no idea what you said in your first answer, but you apparently have netted the first hat-trick in Blue Jackets post-game history or playoff history. Can you take me through that last goal and how you saw the play develop? Um, well, to be honest, I, I didn't really see what happened before. Um, then Tex got it. That's, that's the only thing I, I remember. Um, and then made a nice play, didn't pass it right away, didn't chip it right away, just kept um, the puck, was patient with it and passing a nice little saucer up the middle of the ice um, to get me free on a breakaway. Um, that was a hell of a play by him. Um, and then after that, on the breakaway, I didn't know how far the defenseman was, so I just wanted to keep him and, I mean, shoot it in the, in the net, I guess. Yeah, Pierre, Luke, uh, just wondering uh, how much pride you take in being able to take over offensively in a game. Uh, I know you value yourself as a two-way center, but uh, to come up big uh, in a series against Toronto where all eyes are on uh, you guys. Um, how important was that for your growth and development? Yeah, I mean, um, I just take it one game at a time. and Every game you try to, to be a difference maker, um, whether it's offensively, defensively. But, um, you know, when you need, when you're down 3 nothing, I mean, defensive plays are, are big to keep you in it. But at some point, you need, you need to score. And, um, you know, it was a team effort tonight. I said multiple times, Corby played well enough to keep us in it. Um, then we just changed him to take our team a little boost. Elvis made big saves to give us a chance to come back. And then everybody from there just, uh, it's like our team, um, you know, regained confidence. And, and then the rest is history, I guess. Next question. Jeff with bluejackets.com. Just uh, last one for all of us as well. Uh, just your mindset over the last two games. You had to know at some point there was a possibility that you might go in the series just because you never know how it's going to go. But how did you keep yourself mentally sharp through, you know, kind of the ups and downs of what the last couple of days have been like and be ready to go? I mean, that's my job. <laughs> it's hard. You have to be ready every day, even if you're not playing. So uh, even if you're not playing, you have to prepare yourself for the games. And uh, this is uh, this is this is fighting for a playoff spot. So. I think it's even a little bit maybe harder, uh, and you should be a little bit more nervous, uh, especially in our situation that we were 1-1 one, one tight. So uh, I think you have to just get ready. Uh, like I said, I didn't put any pressure on myself. Uh, I just tried to get into in the game with a free mind and try to, to make my plays. Last question, Sean Farrell, NHL.com. If each of you could uh, uh, answer this one, when you scored the first goal, Pierre Luc, uh, to make it three to one, what was the sense in the team at that point? Did you feel any kind of momentum shift, or at least putting on the brakes and getting back in the game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought Corpy played, played well to keep us in it. Um, you know, we had, unfortunately we pulled him, but it's not, I don't think it's because he was playing poorly. I think it's just to give us a little a shift um, in energy to wake us up a bit, and I think that's what started. Um, then from there, we knew we needed a goal um, to hurry up and get a goal, and we got it. Nice pass by Z, and then Elvis makes big saves. Um, Jonesy gets the, that goal, and I mean, it was a team effort, but um, you know, Elvis made some really big saves to keep us in it, and I think, I think that's, what, uh, that's when the tide shifted a bit.